Now let's look at a Spark streaming example. A class for a job is called a Structured Streaming Average. We're monitoring a directory for input file changes. The first thing to do is to start a Spark context. The next thing we'll do is we'll define an input schema for people. So the struct type is uh, basically what we found in the JSON uh, document for uh, uh, persons. This is what the data looks like in our JSON files. So we have fat first, last name, sex, and age. We're still going to use our person being class in this project. The next thing we're going to do is create a person stream. So this represents the stream of input files. We're using the previously defined schema and we're reading from the input stream. We're monitoring JSON documents inside the input directory. The next steps look like these simple batch jobs. So we're creating a temporary table to use in our SQL queries and that table is going to be named people again. We're defining an SQL statement. That SQL statement will get executed every time there's a new batch of data coming in. The last thing we'll do in this job is to write the results of the query execution to the console. All right, so let's see this thing run. First thing we'll do is do a Maven install. And once the artifact is created, we'll be able to run it. We run our submit job shell script. It starts the structured streaming average job. The job waits for new input files, so here we'll copy one over. The job should pick up the new input file and calculate the average age by sex. For that particular input file, we'll see the average age by sex appear in the console. When we add more input data to that input files directory, we should see updated results. So dragging the last sample file into our watched input directory should give us the same result as what we found in our simple batch job. So there you have it, a very simple structured streaming example in Spark.